Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. I'm Kevin and it's time for our daily pocket dump deconstruction. This right here is the picture that I just took and posted to Instagram seven minutes ago. <laughs> now I've changed my iPhone 6s Plus from photo to video and now it's time to do a Keith Kevin Ken YouTube channel deconstruction. Listen, we're going to love some knives today. This is a very light carry for me today, um, but one that I'm really <laughs> going to have fun with. It's early in the morning. I'm recording this in February 2016, and let's get to it. My watch today is a Concord. If you uh, follow the daily pocket dumps that I post, that's right, every single day, you can watch at least four knives being discussed caressed and played with here on Keith Kevin Ken, um, you'll notice that I have about six or seven watches in my rotation. Most of them are these big, nice chronographs. This Concorde is so well uh, put together and nice. It's just a nice manly watch. I like to know what I have on my wrist um, when I wear a watch like that. So that's the Concorde. I always, always, always carry a cigar to celebrate the day at the end of the day. Usually don't have time during the day. Today, the cigar is a Cuban punch. Just a wonderful cigar full of flavor. Oh, man. I, that's why I carry one every day. Cannot wait to get to it. <laughs> that's why I carry it. I really can't wait to get to it, especially since I'm going to add some <laughs> scotch to it scotch and the coin today is an australian kookaburra coin it's a one ounce australian coin um every single day i have a silver one ounce coin in my pocket for good luck and i'm standing doing a pocket deconstruction for you guys so hey coin must work so that's the coin it's the kookaburra coin. Whoops. I want to keep everything so you can still see it. Now let's talk about the knives. Hey, I just have gotten hooked on my copas. I have not carried a copa for about, I don't know, a couple of months, a few months. And then I started carrying one. And every morning when I get to my Pelican cases, I open it up and the copas say, Take me, take me, take me. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about Copas. Copas is a series of knives. There were 17 knives in the series. I am lucky enough to own 16 of them. All of the knives had this exact same profile, VG10 uh, steel, this clip. Um, and what distinguishes these knives from all the other Spyderco knives is that they were created on purpose to be a series. They have exotic materials as, as their scales. So everything from giraffe bone to candy apple, um, uh, wood to carbon fiber. In this case, it's stacked wood, just a lot of pieces of wood. Isn't that a wonderful pattern? Uh, a lot of pieces of wood as the scales. This is a wonderful keychain knife. I always carry a keychain knife. Put this on my silver loop. You take it out. They're all different, but they're all wonderful knives. Very functional and beautiful at the same time. No one at all gets scared when you pull this out and it does a lot of work. This is the Copa. This is the stacked wood Copa. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting stuck on my copas again. I'll tell you what, I am going to do a mini collection of copas. I should do that pretty soon since I'm, I'm loving them right now. So you will be able to see a mini collection of my copas, all 16 of them. Oh, I'm missing the blue turquoise knife. Been missing it for years and it pains me. Anyway, um... I don't know if I'm happy when I complete a series or the pain is actually still exciting for the search. But anyway, 
We'll do all 16 of my copas pretty soon. Today, I really don't have a large knife carry. It's a pretty light carry. I just wanted some favorite knives today. This is the Mantra 2. The Mantra 2 is from Spotico, just released. I re I'm recording this in February 2016. This was just released in 2016. It was the Mantra and the Mantra 2. This is the Mantra 2. The Mantra, if you can imagine a Spydeco Delica as an all-tie flipper that looks like this, the body. This is the Delica body. It's all-tie. It has that Chris Reeves integral lock. It has the wonderful, wonderful um, wire clip, deep carry wire clip. The blade is CPM M4, just like this. Um, the profile of the blade is exactly like the Delica, that spidical kind of leaf shape. The only difference between the Mantra and this one, the Mantra 2, is the profile of the blade. This is a low profile blade. It really, really is nice. Again, CPM M4, that's a um, steel that we're used to in the Gale Bradley. Very nice steel, high carbon, which means it can rust. So you have to take care of it. You gotta rub it down with something to make sure that it doesn't rust. So if you're cutting food, fruit, or whatever, it will rust up on you. This is just a wonderful flipper. Again, so light, full tie. Um, Spyderco also put a steel guard on the lock, which is great because when titanium meets steel, over time, that titanium starts wearing down and you start seeing the lock slide across. And so for Spyderco, they put that nice oh man put that nice um lock steel lock on the titanium that is the mantra that's the mantra two the brothers the mantra one different profile blade the mantra is a delica flipper basically the mantra two has that different kind of blade and then again this is the chris reeve tie lock Chris Reeve teamed up. Let me see if I can get all these. I don't know why I'm so crunched. Chris Reeve tie lock. Um, Chris Reeve. Chris Reeve teamed up with, man, two of the most creative knife makers you ever want to meet. Gavin and Hawk. I, I think there's something on YouTube that I saw. I don't know if it was Blade HQ or something that did a profile on them. Just search on YouTube. They do the funkiest knives you ever want to see. Well, they hooked up with Chris Reeve in 2010 to come up with this, the tie lock. It's all titanium. You can see it's really uh, skeletonized with all these holes in it. So it's very lightweight, which is wonderful. And the lock is what makes it special. It's a tie lock. Right there, you release it. You see right here? It locks up with the pins going into these grooves. So to release it, you lift the pins and you close it. I've seen people do that with one hand. I can't, and I'm too old to practice it, <laughs> okay? So I just take two to release it. It's a strong lock. It's a very good lock, very functional lock. You hear it click in there. Um, Gavin and Hawk and Chris Reeves admit that they wanted a fancy looking knife <laughs> and they wanted to experiment with a lock where they take the entire lock outside of the body of the knife and put it on top of the blade and that's where you get the tie lock. I only have one tie lock Chris Reeve released in 2015. Again, I record this in 2016. Um, the Blue Pearl uh, scales and then in 2016 he's releasing another one so this is going to be a yearly a yearly knife for Chris Reeve with all the different kinds so 
I was gonna, I was satisfied with just one tie lock. I love the lock, it's so light. And of course it's Chris Reeve with his S35 VN steel, but man, I can't resist the set. And so I will probably pick up, I will probably pick up a tie lock later this year um, or two because I do want that set now that it's gonna be a collector's item. That's the tie lock from Chris Reeves Knives. Sorry about my voice. It's cold in the east in mid-February, so <clears throat> I've caught a bit of a cold. But I wanted to make sure that we had our daily pocket dump deconstruction. That's going to happen every day, no matter what, here on YouTube. If you want to make sure that you catch all of the knives that I put on my daily dump or mini um, collections, I just posted a mini collection on Spydeco Sage collection, then you'd want to thumbs this up, hit that subscribe button. I really want us to build a knife community here on YouTube where we ooh and all about the knives. So that's what makes up my morning Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken. Um, but this ain't Instagram. This is YouTube. And so we have the one that got away. <clears throat> I'll tell you, um, wow, what can I say? I, I get to my uh, microtext and I just play pretty much for a half hour until my thumb <laughs> starts hurting. This is the Microtech True Dome. It is a wonderful EDC carry. I have a collection of Microtechs. They are on my desk right now. They've been sitting there for two weeks. I've been wanting to do a uh, mini collection of all of my Microtech out to front knives. They're all out to front knives. Um, but I just ordered a brand new one that should come in from Blade HQ tomorrow. I'm recording this on a Monday. So I will first do the mail call because I have a bunch of knives coming in and then I'll do um, my Microtech collection. But man, I wanted to carry my out the front. I'm allowed to carry automatics here in my state. I know some people aren't, and I'm sorry about that because they're so much fun, especially to play with. They do scare everyone, no matter how small they are when they come out. When I flick it out, it's like, whoa. And so since I'm going to be out and about, I decided instead to go with the tie lock. But, oh man, I love the Trudon. Uh, all of my Microtechs have that LMAX steel, which is a good steel. Um, this does too. This is uh, a tantal blade. Out the front means just like it says. The blade comes out the front. This is a double action out the front, which means you push it out and then you snap it back in. One of my Microtechs, um, the Halo 5, is not a double action. It's single action. You push it out and then you cock it back in. I'll show you that when we go through the collection. This is the Trudon. This is the knife that got away. But you know what? I'm going to keep this on my desk with all the other Microtechs, and I'm gonna play the heck out of them, which I've been doing, and man, my thumb is getting tired. <laughs> Some of those are pretty stiff. There you go, that's the Microtech Trudon, that's the knife that got away. It has that wonderful Tanto blade, which I adore. I'm a sucker for Tanto blades, I'm a sucker for Damascus, and I'm a sucker for well-built knives. And those four knives right there, well built, let me tell you. That's it. That's the pocket dump. Thank you very, very much for giving me your time. I know how precious it is. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that we can all talk knives. This is Kevin from Keith, Kevin, Ken. I appreciate your time. Have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.